you are going to be removing the steering wheel airbag to access the steering sensor. Before you begin, disconnect the negative, then the positive cables from the battery with the 10 millimeter socket, and then wait at least 20 minutes for the residual energy in the system to dissipate. With the battery disconnected and having waited 20 minutes, remove the steering wheel and airbag red arrow. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. Mark the arrow on the steering sensor where the white arrow on the ring is, indicated by our red arrow. If the wheel was straight, it should be at 1 o'clock. When reinstalling the sensor, the arrow must line up between the two marks on the ring indicated by the blue arrows. Use a T10 torque and remove the two small screws, red arrow, one on each side, that hold the upper steering column trim piece in place. You can just leave the wiring in place and set the cover up out of the way. If you want to remove the harness from the clips, red arrow, and then separate the leather piece by unclipping it, green arrow, that will give you more room to work. Use a T10 torque and remove the single screw holding the lower trim piece in place, red arrow. You can just lower this, but if you want to remove it for more room, separate the wiring clip from the trim piece indicated by the red arrow. Remove the switches as a unit from the steering shaft by loosening the 4mm Allen, red arrow. Slide the unit off of the steering shaft and disconnect the wiring harness, red arrow, from the turn signal assembly, blue arrow. Disconnect the electrical connection from the sensor, red arrow. With the unit off, you can see the marking on the sensor, red arrow, and where it plugs into the column switches, blue arrows. You will need to remove the clock spring to get access to the switches. The steering sensor clock spring is held in place by five clips. Release the two on the top, indicated by the red arrows. Release the lower one, and then the two on each side. You can now remove the steering sensor from the unit. With the steering sensor off, you can see how the switches are mounted together. You can replace one or all of them. Pull the steering sensor connector off of the top. It plugs, red arrow, into the wiper switch housing, blue arrow. If you are replacing the cruise control or wiper switch, disconnect the wiring harness on the rear, red arrows. The switches are held in place by eight T10 torque screws. Remove the screws for the switch you are replacing. The switches can be replaced individually. The headlight switch, red arrow, contains the backing plate that the other switches and modules attach to. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.